Hey friends, hope you're having a great day. Today we are continuing in our series on wisdom, which is about learning what you should do and doing it. And today we have an awesome passage from the Bible that we think is really gonna help you to make some super wise choices. But first, you know what time it is, so dust yourself off, stand up, it is time to do some praise and worship.
with you I know that you will never change You're by my side, I will remain with you With you With you, I know that you will never change. You're by my side, I will remain with you. With you, here with you, I can't go wrong. I'll set my heart, I'm standing strong. With you, with you. Hey friends, Miss Lisa here. We're gonna do our memory verse. This is our first time doing it this month. So stand up and let's do it together. If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. James 1, 5, that was great. Now let's do it one more time and a little bit louder. If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. James 1, 5, great job. Now we're gonna go and have our story time. The Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 3. When Solomon became king as a young man, he asked God for one thing, wisdom. And God made him one of the wisest men in the world. Years later, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. Check out these wise words in Proverbs 22.3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. There's a lot to discover in these few short lines. First of all, it's important to remember to take time in your day to stop. Oops! It's easy to get so distracted that you don't stop to take a breath and pay attention to what's going on around you. Second step, think. Look around you, look ahead. Do you see danger? Ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? If I say the first thing that pops into my head and talk back to my mom, well, that might just lead to a week of no screen time. If I keep playing this video game and playing and playing instead of studying, I might bomb the test. If I ignore the sign that says playground closed for repairs, that could mean a trip to urgent care. God doesn't tell us the future. 
that he has given us the common sense to think through what is most likely to happen right now based on what's going on around us. Oh, which brings us to our third step. Act. Once you've taken time to stop and think it through, it's time to make your move. Maybe you realize the safe place in this case is to hold your tongue and say, yes, ma'am. Maybe your safe place is setting a timer for only five more minutes of game time before you study. Maybe your safe place is to walk right past that closed down playground, no matter how cool it looks. Foolish people barrel ahead without pausing to think. Wisdom stops, thinks, then acts. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act according to his wisdom. And that's still true for each one of us today. So don't forget to stop, think, and then act. And as Solomon reminds us, wise people see danger and go to their safe place. But childish people, they keep going and suffer for it. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act on the wise choice. With God's help, we can stop, think, and act on the wise choice. The safe place isn't always the easiest place to be, but when God is with us, we know that we will always arrive at the wisest decision. At times, this will be really easy, but other times, it'll be very difficult. Regardless, God is always with us, and we can know that we'll arrive at the wisest decision. Remember what we read in Proverbs 22, verse three. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. You know, danger comes in many shapes, many sizes, and many forms. God knows this, and he actually gives us the ability to recognize this. But to do this, we can't just keep on going and plow through every situation and every decision in life. We have to take the time to stop and think. And sometimes we need help thinking, and that's okay. We can ask people that are wiser than us and maybe people that have experience in that exact same situation. But once we learn from them and we know what the wise decision to make is, we then can act and go to that safe place that we have. So we're gonna pray now. Dear God, I thank you that you are the one that always gives wisdom, Lord. And I thank you that even maybe when we don't feel like we're hearing from you or we don't know what to ask from you, we have friends and family members and mentors and just older people in general who will help us to know what the wise decision to make is. Lord, we know that there are a lot of difficult decisions in life and I pray for everyone watching this who is facing a really difficult decision right now. And I pray that you would just impart wisdom to them, Lord, that they would know what the decision to make is, that they would have peace and a calmness that can only come from you. We love you so much, Lord, and we thank you for all that you've done for us. In your name we pray, amen. Hey, well, I've had such a fun time with you on this series of wisdom, and I know I've been learning a lot. So I hope you've been learning a lot as well. And if you want, you can comment or let us know what did you learn about making wise decisions this week. See you later.